I have recently had a birthday. It was recently, it was a couple of weeks ago. It was a couple of weeks before I filmed this, which could have been at any time. My mum, who is just, she's just so funny, she's, she's the funniest, decided to buy me this. Brad Art. I don't know what it is really. I'm not 100% sure. It says create a sparkling picture using glitter coated brads. Oh. I think this is paint by numbers but with little pins. I think. Fuck. When we were at school we were given the option to do graphics, like a graphic design class, or cookery, food technology. Um, and being a fully qualified graphic designer, that's why I took cookery. I took this class with Andrew, the infamous Andrew, who always shows up in these stories. However, this story also includes a teacher, an entire class, and very specifically, somebody else who we will call John. This is a bad idea, doing this. Because it's just going to look the same. It looks like that, and at the end, it will look like that. Now we were set a task, why don't you make a Victoria sponge? And so we, we looked it up, we looked up how to do it, the teacher went through very carefully how you make a Victoria sponge. You must measure out this amount of sugar, this amount of flour, this amount of this. Me and Andrew, stickler for the rules, decided we'd just put anything we wanted in. That much, that much sugar will do. Flour, that much, I reckon, yeah. Butter, that much. Everyone's going mad, they're going, you can't do that, what's the point, what's the point in doing the class if you're not even going to measure it? John goes, I'm going to do what they're doing, I'm just going to, I'm just going to measure it willy-nilly as well, and just start throwing things into a pot. At the end, everyone takes out their Victoria sponge, and the majority of the class, it looks alright. Teachers looks pretty much fine. Ours comes out perfect. It was literally the most perfectly cooked Victoria, it was like we invented it. John who has followed our instruction of just throwing things in willy-nilly, pulls his out and it's mutant. It is so mutant that the teacher kicks him out of the class and he was not allowed to do food tech anymore because he didn't follow the rules, but his came out wrong. Because ours came out better than the teacher's, she had no, no choice. She had no choice. Just put that one in his eye. Blind. Funnily enough, John, the same little kid, came in. He said, oh, I've had diarrhoea really badly. And we said, well, what the hell are you doing in school? Well, I've got to come into school, I'm not allowed to not. And so me and Andrew thought that was the funniest thing in the world. And so we're, we're making a few jokes, we're cracking jokes. And he's laughing. But he's getting to the point where he's going, oh, don't, don't make me laugh, don't make me laugh, please don't make me laugh, because I'm going to poo myself. So we're making him laugh, we're making him laugh. And he's going, oh, please, no, please, no, seriously, though, don't make me laugh anymore. Please don't make me laugh anymore. Until he started laughing to the point where he had to run run out of class because we'd made him laugh so much that he'd pooed himself. I don't understand the point of this. This is the worst gift I've ever got. It's not the only thing she got me, thank God. She did get me other things. She didn't just buy me this and go, there you go. Worst son ever. Goodbye. We'll see you next week for more half-assed piece of shit to watch. Oh, goodbye.